Okay, tubers. Here's the video I've been talking about. Um, I'm going to be making pickles. This is how I do it. This way is the one way I think it tastes more like store bought because I really do like store bought uh, Mount Olive actually uh, dill pickles. But I'm not making these whole. I'm, the last batch I made whole looked turned out to uh, really uh, strange looking. The pickles wrinkled up real bad uh, so I'm going to go ahead and quarter all these and um, slice them up and put them in and in, into quarters but first thing we're going to do I've already got my jars this is a uh, clove I'm, I'm sorry uh, garlic putting one garlic clove in each of these and I don't know how many I'm going to be able to fit in there but one two three four five six let's just try six first and one head of fresh dill in each I may go ahead and put a little more than one in some of them some of them are kind of puny looking heads I did not grow the dill I will be growing the dill next time though But that looks pretty good. And basically what you do is you put your sprig of dill in the jar. Your, um, you put a clove of garlic in there. You quarter these guys here. And then you, you place them in there. And I'm going to do that here in a minute. Um, the brine consists of two parts water one part white vinegar so I'm gonna add four cups of water and two cups of white vinegar I may increase that if I don't have enough And we'll turn that on high. We'll add four four tablespoons of canning salt to the mix. Stir it up. Get that to a nice boil. And I probably should not have used Mama's wooden spoon because that is vinegar, and that is going to be hard to get out of that spoon. Sorry, Mom. I'll buy you a new one. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and quarter these and pack these jars while that's that brine's heating up. And uh, so is the uh, canner. I'm just going to use it as a water bath. I'm not going to pressure can these. Um, I just think it works fine with the, uh, with the water bath for pickles. So I'll be back. Until next time, I'll be here in just a minute. Okay. As you can see, I have quartered the pick or the cucumbers and I have loaded them into the jars. Now the next thing I had to do was get my lids to boil. And those are 
good and sanitary now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand this to my partner here and have him um, video the rest of this for me. Got the brine ready, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip this brine and put it into the jars. What you want to do is you want to fill this up with, and one inch of the top, which is about right to that first lip right there on the jar. That's what I use as my, my mark anyway. Before I get done here, I'm going to have to make mix up some more brine because I didn't, didn't make enough. But that's okay. It just takes a few minutes. I'll go ahead and show you the rest of this and then I'll finish up the last two, mixing up the uh, brine. All you have to do to complete this process is to make sure you clean these rims off really good. You want this to seal, so just take, you, take a clean paper towel and make sure you get this wiped off really good so that the rubber gasket that's on the lid this will make good contact and seal there's nothing to keep it from making good contact you don't want any leaks take your little magnet grab a lid Daniel did not know he was going to be my assistant. I kind of snagged him. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. And then we just tighten down the rings. Now use two fingers to tighten it. That's, that's as tight as that has to be. Those rings are temporary. They're just to hold the, the lids on long enough to get a good seal in the water bath canner. Alright, well I'll finish up the rest of these and then I'll come back in just a second and show you uh, what we do to complete this. Okay, I've filled the other two with the brine but I forgot to show you something. I've already taking care of the other ones. You want to make sure that you get all the air out of the out of the jars or my little bubbles and stuff. You want to get all that out of there so you just use this little jewel here and slide it down in there and make sure you get all the air bubbles out. 
both of them. See, there's little bubbles in there and stuff, and get all that out so I, when it does create the vacuum, doesn't have to compete with any air bubbles that were created because of you didn't pack it real good. Clean this out real good. Clean it off. And then add the lids. All right, we'll put them in there. I've got the others in here. I'll tighten those lids down, set it down in there, and bring it to a boil. We'll be right back. Okay, we have a good rolling boil. I don't know if you can see that through all the steam. We're going to set this t timer to 10 minutes. And push start. We'll let that go for 10 minutes and then we'll remove the pickles and uh, wait for them to seal. Alright, timer's down to 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alright, timer says that the process is complete. That guy off. I'm gonna let it calm down just a little bit. I'm gonna pull them out and let them sit. Sit them on these. Be really careful because that steam is hot. And it burn you. Try to put a little space in between them. Sit them out and let the air get around it to cool them. They're not right up against each other. And there you are. About 30 40 minutes, uh, these things will start popping, sealing. Thanks for watching. Hope it was helpful. God bless and keep playing in the dirt.